Captain. Oh man, I can't wait. There. This game is fucking asinine. Honestly, get me off this game. I can't even spawn, like. For like, I mean, I'm just turning every corner and dying to some. What? So as we approach the end of Modern Warfare, I'm going to take a look back at whether or not this game was a success. I'm not going to talk about Warzone because I don't think that needs any explanation. I think it's pretty obvious how successful that was. But the actual Modern Warfare multiplayer campaign co-op game, was that successful? And in short, yeah. In terms of like, did it revive Call of Duty and did it progress the Call of Duty franchise forward? Was it successful? Yes. Was it a good game? I think if it wasn't a good game, it wouldn't have been successful, so obviously it was good to some extent. It had issues. Lots of issues. Through those problems that it had, it still managed to captivate us and make us play for an entire year, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't remember the last time I ever played a game right up until the end, you know. it's I played it from October to September. The last time that happened? I actually couldn't tell you. The COD franchise was dying out. I want to say it's been on a downward trajectory ever since Black Ops 2. It got to the point where, at the worst, I think it was Infinite Warfare. That was probably the worst time for Call of Duty. Black Ops 4 that came after that? No, World War 2 came after that, I think. And that did help it a bit. World War 2 did help. And then it came, it came to Black Ops 4, which I kind of felt was... It didn't really make, do much. Uh, the COD franchise was still way below where it was before. And then it felt like Black Ops 4 was a filler game for me. And I didn't play it very much because of that. I didn't feel like they gave any... It was basically a copy and paste of Black Ops 3 with a few minor changes. And that'll do ye for another year. Because what we're really focusing on is Modern Warfare. And I felt like that was pretty clear from early, the early days of Black Ops 4 that they didn't really care that much about it and they were saving up for this game. They, the, like the marketing budget that went into this, the, the hype behind this game because it was a reboot to the franchise. They were using the old name Modern Warfare and bringing it into this one and they were bringing back old characters, similar storylines. They were really trying to throw it back to what made Call of Duty great back in the day and the hype was real man i was super hyped for this game and i i was i was thinking you know this is going to be the one this is going to bring us all back this is going to bring the lads back and you know it did it, some of my old friends who haven't played call of duty in years uh came back to play this game and that was cool i mean it did they didn't stay for a while Warzone further added to that then. For the most part, it feels like most people stayed on and just kind of went through the whole year, through all the seasons. Warzone helped tremendously with that. I kind of felt like in March, I think, I'm not sure when Warzone released, but I think it was April. Uh, it was right around when the lockdown happened. Uh, I remember that much. But around that time, multiplayer started to die a bit. I remember kind of falling off it a bit then. And then Warzone came back and basically gave it a fresh breath of life and revived it mid-season and you know a lot of people bitch about this game and you know think it's one of the worst call of duties ever and you know look i mean i i agree with them for most for for the most part i would agree with them um it's 
it, some of the design choices in this game were very poor and there was a lot of glitches, a lot of bugs, a lot of problems. In terms of game design, this Call of Duty might be the worst one ever made. There's a debate to be had there. Um, it's some of the some of the choices and some of the systems that were implemented into this game, the spawn system, the footsteps, safe spaces, time to kill, things like that, all made this game extremely hard to play for the older veteran Call of Duty players like myself. But those decisions seem to have made it better for newer players coming in. And they said that from the from the get-go. They said that at the very start when this game released, there's a clip going around of them saying that they wanted this to be more friendly for new gamers uh, joining the series and it was and it was extremely successful and it worked and honestly Call of Duty hasn't been in a, as good a spot as this since Modern Warfare 2 I believe I think they, they've they had their dip and it looked like Call of Duty was going to die around Infinite Warfare and they've slowly just rebuilt it to a point where it's it's well up there again. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Well, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to follow me on the streams. I'm live most nights from 9 to 11 p.m. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you later.